Welcome to Bicycle Heaven. My name's Craig Morrow, and I'm the one that started Bicycle Heaven, and I actually got started out of my home in a garage in Bellevue, PA. It all started when I used to do auto body work, and I got sick from the paint fumes, I got tired of that kind of work, and I needed something to do, so uh, I ended up finding a bike in a scrapyard. I took it home, fixed it up, and then ended up giving it to a kid down the road, and that's how Bicycle Heaven started. Then I started fixing bikes for other kids and their parents and whatever. And since I always liked the antiques and collectible items, and I had a, a Stingray orange crate when I was a kid, I started looking for that kind of thing. And then we uh, ended up coming here at uh, Bicycle Heaven, which is on 1800 Preble Avenue down here on the north side. <laughs> So this is a bicycle hat we have here at Bicycle Heaven that is our oldest bicycle. And it's from the 1870s. It's an all wooden bicycle and it's called a bone shaker. And I actually found this bike right here in Pittsburgh and it was uh, a bike that was built in Ohio. And what's unique about this bone shaker bicycle is not only is it an all wooden bicycle, but it actually flexes. and that is made so when you push the handlebars this brake will come down and it pushes on the front wheel and it also is a brake in the back also. Um, just a unique bicycle even the pedals are uh, made out of wood. This bone shaker also has wooden axles so it's almost a complete wooden bicycle and it's uh, one of our favorite bikes because it's our oldest bike and it actually has wooden fenders. Okay, so right here we have the Bowden Spacelander bicycles. And we're the only museum, the only people really to have more than one. Uh, they only made 500 of them, and we actually have 19 of them at Bicycle Heaven here. And there's probably only maybe 30 or 40 of them to be found. What's unique about the bicycle is that it was designed in the 1940s. And it's an all fiberglass bike. There's not a metal frame inside. and uh, it has lights in the front, it has lights in the rear. Is it a pretty unique bike? It's uh, something that we're really proud to have at Bicycle Heaven. So the value of these bikes actually range anywhere from $15,000 to $70,000. Uh, there was one that was just sold recently for $49,000. So they're quite valuable. And the one reason why is Benjamin Bowden, who was, you know, from England, he uh, designed Winston Churchill's armored car. He also uh, designed and helped do uh, Austin Healey cars and a lot of other inventions and things. So, uh, and they're also sort of more known as artwork. The Carnegie Museum also has one in their museum of art. This is a very popular bike. And especially in my time when I was younger, when I was 12 years old, this is the bike that you wanted. And quite honestly, they were very expensive and mostly the richer kids had the Stingray Crate. And the Schwinn Stingray Crate, very unique with the suspension in the front, had a drum brake. Some of them actually even had a disc brake on the back. And as you can see on the seats, they had the racing stripe and a, a lot of things to imitate like race cars. And when I was younger, I had an orange crate and that was named after a, a race car that was called a rail. And uh, that was a very big selling thing for Schwinn and they sold thousands of them and it was the a big new craze of the 60s. And they also made them in the early 70s. So here we have the 1930s bicycles, and they were balloon tire bicycles. And the unique thing about these bikes are, of course, they had the big wider tires, which back in the 1890s and that were thin tires. And a lot of these bikes also were to imitate motorcycles and things like that. So they had the light on the front, 
um, they had the horn tanks, and most of the horn tanks had, you know, a horn button on it, and also a switch for the light. Um, this one here, being a woman's bike, had the skirt guards on it, and because women back in wore skirts. Um, so, and up there we have the men's bicycle. It's also uh, Columbia. This one was actually sold um, at a Harley Davidson motorcycle shop. And then over here, also being a balloon tire bike, this is in the 1950s. It's a Schwinn Phantom, and it's, they sold a lot of these bikes. And, but it was also an expensive bike, and if you got one of these when you were a kid, uh, you were very lucky. But it also had the horn tank with the button, a Springer front end, shock absorber, lights. Some of them had a drum brake on them, and some of them were actually two speeds. And uh, most of these bikes in the 50s and the 30s came with a rear rack and the big comfortable seat. The bottom one here is a 1930s bike also. And this one had the Springer front end on it, um, which was a different design, close to a Schwinn. Had the uh, roll fast speedometer on it and the headlights and the extra support crossbar on the handlebars. And has a neat little bell right there as well. Uh, Springer fork on it, tail light, and this model here is a two-speed. So at Bicycle Heaven, um, we actually sell bike parts and vintage parts all around the world. And a lot of the items we have that we sell, and some of them that are just on display, or in our display cases. So we got banana seats in here, we got shifters, um, we got vintage grips and chain guards, horn tanks, you name it. Um, and this one here, we got a lot of vintage lights, speedometers, and everything from the bike world from you know the 1870s all the way up, every little part counts because when people are restoring bicycles, they need to to find those old parts and that's a hard thing to come by. And the same as in this display case here, uh, we got some BMX stuff, BMX racing pads, and uh, that's sort of the new craze right now is the new generation getting into the uh, BMX bicycle stuff. And it's hard to believe, but even like this SE racing BMX pad was probably only a few dollars back in the day, which would have been probably late 70s, early 80s, that pad alone right there is worth $300. So it's just amazing how some of these parts uh, evolved in such a, a, a value. Well, thank you for coming to Bicycle Heaven on this short tour. Bicycle Heaven is the world's largest bike shop and museum. We do repairs and we send parts all around the world and we actually got the bike trail that's right beside the bike museum here that goes from here all the way to DC. A good way to find more information about Bicycle Heaven is you can go to bicycleheaven.org. That's our website and we have a virtual tour there that you can go through and we have a lot of items for sale on there and a lot about the Bicycle Heaven Museum and its history.